Welcome to the Matt Kuda Photography Podcast, a podcast about nature and wildlife photography in your own backyard and throughout the United States. Okay, welcome to Behind the Shot. Now, for those that don't know, uh, Behind the Shot is a new podcast episode that I am doing on the second week and the fourth week of every month. The idea behind this is to give you something a little different and something that will keep you focused on the podcast because my main podcast, which often runs an hour long, uh, is only put out on the the first week and the third week of each month. This will allow us to or allow me to keep you engaged and to stay engaged with you and it will also offer a look into my photography and how I did each shot. So let's go ahead and in the show notes, there is a link. You simply click on that link. It will take you to my Flickr page. And from there, we can talk about it. So what we have here is a photograph of a screech owl. And this photograph... um, just a little backstory on it. This photograph was created actually as part of a, an event that we have here in North Carolina to benefit uh, wounded raptors. And it's it's done at the Carolina Raptor Center. It's called Photo Wild, and it, it happens several times a year. And this image, there were probably, I don't know, 10 other photographers standing right next to me shoulder to shoulder for this shot so this was not done in the wild I have no problem with that I'm not uh, anti-captivity especially in a situation like this where you know this bird could not be released into the wild so first of all let's go over you know what's happening here in the photograph the what I've done here to make this photograph first of all I used a 70 to 200 millimeter lens okay and and what that allowed me to do was to be able to come back off the bird a little bit and frame the bird inside this burned out tree. You know, this is a real, I believe this is a real burned out tree. It's just, it's a prop, but it's real. And what makes this photograph unique is not that it is a photograph of a captive bird. Okay, we see that all the time. What makes it unique is the action. This photograph has action. It, it has something that grabs your attention. And, and what that is, is this massive, gaping mouth of this screech owl. This is not something that you see uh, often. And it's not something that you see in the wild, certainly. Uh, but what you're seeing here is actually a couple of things. I believe he is actually, and it would take a, a raptor expert here, but... I believe what's happening here is he is actually working on breakfast. Okay, so that's first and foremost what's going on. But secondly, he's he's actually doing some kind of weird little uh, vocalization along with that. So you've got the two things going on, and what that equals is a large open mouth, and it looks really interesting. And and it's just being at the right place at the right time. It's it's knowing. Uh, that decisive moment, as Cartier Prasan said, it's it's knowing that it's 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 waiting for that perfect opportunity. And that's one of the things I want to stress about this photograph is look for that decisive moment, that moment when everything comes together to give you a shot. It's no secret this photograph is probably currently my best image, maybe tied with the American black bear. And it is it has won you know competition after competition, and I you know here's the other here's the other little see, little dirty secret about this photograph. It's not a hundred percent tack sharp. It's sharp, but it's not tack sharp. Not only that, it was shot at f4, which means it has a very shallow depth of field. Actually, the only thing that's completely sharp in this image is the eye itself. The rest of this bird is pretty much out of focus. So it just goes to show you, you don't have to have 
everything perfect to have a winning shot. But what you do need, what you do need is to capture that decisive moment. So real quick, the statistics of this photograph, it was shot with my Canon EOS or EOS 7D. I use the EF 70 to 200 F4L lens uh, with image stabilization turned on. I used an aperture of F4. I used, I set the the uh, focal length at 200 millimeters, of course, and I used a one one twenty fifth of a second at ISO 1250. So, look, guys. You can do it. You don't have to have a 600 millimeter lens. You don't have to have amazing gear. This is a this is a 7D classic that I shot this with. You know, you can do it. It's not about the gear, although the gear helps. It's about the subject and it's about the action. It's about the gesture. It's about the decisive moment. So get out there and make a great image today that uses the decisive moment. Thanks for listening. Make it a great day and get out there and enjoy nature. Bye-bye. Music for this episode was provided by Dr. Turtle.